Well, welcome to the 700 Club. A Muslim man stepped down from a key position in the Virginia state government after Governor Tim Kaine learned that he supported, quote, the Jihad way. Isam Omesh resigned about three hours after the governor learned about some of his controversial remarks. Eric Sackelbeck has the story. Democratic Governor Tim Kaine says he was unaware of radical statements like this when he appointed Isam Omesh to the Virginia Commission on Immigration. Palestine, the West Bank and Gaza all have been and continue to be under the repugnant illegal occupation by Israel. The heinous illegal occupation must end today. The massacre and the genocide committed against the Palestinian people must end today. Kane accepted Omesh's resignation yesterday after news began to surface about his radical views. Omesh is the president of the Muslim American Society, or MAS. A 2004 investigative report by the Chicago Tribune found that MAS was created to help establish Islamic Sharia law in America. CBN News consultant David Gartenstein Ross says Omesh's group is the American arm of the Muslim Brotherhood, a radical jihadist group founded in Egypt. Ultimately, there are a lot of Muslims out there who could be part of this commission, and you don't need to go to somebody who is uh, outspoken in favor of the Muslim Brotherhood uh, and uh, whose organization is known to have teachings that are, quite frankly, extremist teachings. The terrorist group Hamas was founded by Muslim Brotherhood members. The Brotherhood has also served as an inspiration for al-Qaeda. Muslim Brotherhood thinkers like Hassan al-Banna, like Saeed Qutb, have been an enormous intellectual influence on Osama bin Laden, Ayman al-Zawahiri, and others who are very high in the al-Qaeda ranks. Isam Omesh admits that members of his group, MAS, have also been members of the Muslim Brotherhood. Omesh says he supports Islamic Sharia law for majority Muslim states. In a recent radio interview, he said he also wouldn't mind seeing Islamic law in the U.S. It's accepted by people. It, it, it would be a lovely set of rules if people understand its tenets. Right. The idea is that I want to be in laws if I can. Right. But I understand right. the, the, how laws are made in this country, and if I can get enough people to right. vote for it, then I'll do it. Isam Omey says his controversial statements were taken out of context and that American Muslims are angry over his resignation. Governor Kane plans to appoint another Muslim as Omey's replacement on the Immigration Commission. Eric Spackle by CBN News. Washington. Understand that this was not just any kind of commission. This was a commission on immigration to determine who gets let into our borders. And uh, I'm just appalled that there wasn't a, a better background check and a review. What are the what are the uh, views here? And uh, to say you didn't know, and there certainly were published reports. Um, we need to give credit where credit is due. There was a representative from Virginia, Todd Gilbert from Shenandoah who blew the whistle on this one. Where did he find the information? He found it on YouTube. Uh, and that's how <laughs> we found out that uh, this man was uh, advocating jihad and, and encouraging the overthrow of the state of Israel. And uh, it's just, it, you just shake your head and go, how in the world can we allow somebody affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood? Keep in mind, this is the group that assassinated Amor Sadat. Uh, it, it says there's no possibility of peace with Israel. Uh, and it's the same group that was responsible for the first World Trade Center bombing. Uh, so somehow or other, this man, uh, with ties back to that group, gets appointed to an immigration commission. Um, anyway, thank you, Todd Gilbert. <laughs> thank you, YouTube. Lee Webb.